August, watch Gordas. I'll miss you! Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this... thing. plan for what you say to Scooter, because he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. And I've heard stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan. He's a pretty jolly guy for someone who just buried another man alive. Just stick to the old con. We're professional racers. He looks like he lives on a diet of car exhaust and old ham. I doubt he'll see through it. He does smell like ham. It's my two favorite gals. Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast, haha. <laughs> Wait, no, not like you're a fast woman or... Oh, shoot. Racing is going awesome. We just won the Grand Chalice and the Bad Attitude Crater Invitational, and I am, woo, tired from that. Uh, y'all know I was joking, right? I know you ain't really racers. But it ain't no big deal. Hell, I knew you was in trouble. And being lied to is one of the less horrific things that can happen to you out here. I'm just happy to see you. What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing, no. It's, uh, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't, either. We're gonna fly up to Helios and leave a big flaming pile of skag crap right on their doorstep. Oh, heck yeah! What do you want to get the crap? Do you want to, like, just find some? Or do you want to, like, make some? Or do you want to get it off the black market? Because I know this wholesaler, trust me, on. We're not actually gonna do that. It's a metaphor. Yeah. That word. That all sounds great! Only problem is funding. No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it! Oh, wait, when I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two? Because look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines, but rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. Oh, no. Janie's been like that since she heard about some big bald hunter fight what happened out in the tundra. Athena ain't checked in for a while. She put two and two together. She ain't in much of a mood to do rocket stuff. Maybe you should talk to her, Fee. You're the last one who saw Athena, right? Yeah. Hi, Janie. Hi, hat girl. She said it was just an easy protection job. As if anything's ever easy out here. I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I heard the two of you talking. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I need to know. I know she was protecting you, but why? She said it wouldn't be dangerous. She said... She was... training me. For what? To be a vault hunter. She wasn't putting herself in danger for her own sake. She was teaching me how to survive. She wouldn't do something like that out of the goodness of her heart. An old friend of ours hired her. Yeah? And where's he? Oh, hell. Athena. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. She was saving my life. Valerie threw two Vault Hunters and her entire gang at Athena, but she held them off. She only surrendered to stop them from killing me. Your girlfriend is a hero. <laughs> I know. Ha ha ha. This is kind of awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on. You just got I just want to know one last thing, and then I'll see about the rocket. Did she... 
say anything about me? Before they took her. The way she acted, sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I... Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, wow. Young lady, you are going to have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done building it, I'm going to grab every gun I can carry, I'm going to drive out of here, I'm going to rescue my girlfriend, and I'm going to marry the piss out of her. I'm in. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you'll want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh man, that sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into spice and all that... Scooter, wanna come with? Be our onboard mechanic? You mean it? Whoa, space buddies! Here's how it's gonna go. The man with the plan right here is gonna track down the corpse. Okay, I get it. Off you go. All right, Reese. Let's just find Vasquez's body, get back here, and not. Crap our but you ah. are gonna have such a hard on for my office, Reeds. It's well, it's huge. Two out of three ain't bad. My office, not your hard on. Whatever. Yeah, you better run. Uh, back here again. Thought I'd close the book on this weird chapter of my life. My office. Okay, dark interior, check. Planetary view, huh? Out the window, check. A chair so soft it could only be made out of supple kitten flesh, check. And if you're a good boy, maybe I'll even let you sit in it. Maybe. You see? I told you so. Wallet head. All right, wallet head. Time to show your face back on Helios. Face! Face is face! Has no face! Oh, you better hope a psycho didn't use it for a skin pizza. A skin pill. Oh, God. What were the pepperonis? A skin pizza. Oh, you clearly haven't been on Pandora mm -hmm. long enough, compadre. Uh-huh. Let's find Vasquez's face. Mm. And get out of here. You're the boss. All right, look, Reese. What happened between you and me, that's in the past, okay? It's almost like it never happened. I highly doubt that. No, no. I'm serious, pal. You want to find the Gordas Beacon on Helios, and I want to get off this murder planet. Our stars are aligned in a very groovy way. You gotta keep an eye on your friends during this Helios mission, huh? Unlike how you're not keeping an eye on that tripwire. Uh, what? Well, looks like these psychos had themselves a little skin pizza party. Uh, how am I gonna find Vasquez's face in all this mess? That's what an echo eyes for, genius. Scan the faces from a nice stab-free distance. Unless you want to get up close and physical with some new psycho pals.
scanning. Scanning. Ooh, Vasquez wasn't that ugly. You and me, Pumpkin, let's rock this walk. Whoa, this place is scaring me and I'm a frickin' hologram. Uh, careful now. I'm gonna end up disturbing. psycho dinner. Not Vasquez's face disturbing, but still disturbing. Glad I wasn't invited to this pizza party. Must have been one hell of a party. You know, in a messed up way, I kind of respect this psycho. I always thought I'd drink or sex myself to death, too. Because those really are the two best... Disturb huh? sleep pattern? <laughs> Flawless! Not now. Interrupt. <laughs> All right, good, good, again, this time with feeling. Give up the old smackdown. Atta boy. Need rest. Big day tomorrow. You die, I sleep. Maggie Dabby! I should punch with this arm more often. Okay, listen up, because I'm about to compliment. <laughs> Kinda looks like my ex-girlfriend. I'd actually be okay with that. Sorry, Stacy. Nope. Well, this is a fun night. Oh, looks like we found our psycho. You only see this kind of thing on pan. Oof, that is one ugly mug. Um, where, where am I gonna put it? Cram it in your pocket, I don't know. I, I can't mess up his face or the Digistruck won't work. Just rip it off like a bandage. Quick and painful. Oh, mmm. Okay, just peeling it off. Peeling off the face, not going to barf into his mouth with your mouth. <sighs> That's it, go on, peel off that face like a serial killer. You're sick. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's stuck. Mm -mm. Oh, God, that's so... That, that is just the, the grossest thing I've ever seen. Oh, God, oh. I can't stop now. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, oh pinch it off. Just pinch it uh, off. Right. Seriously? Oh, please don't do it. Please, please, please don't do this to me. Oh, gross. <laughs> Smash the baby's face! Crunch its teeth! <laughs> Run! You're the only one running, pal! I can fly! So once I snatched that face pizza, gross, I sprinted out of Old Haven. Hundreds, no, thousands of psychos chased me. Oh, really? That many? Couldn't even count them all. You were too busy trying to save the face. Technically, it was one psycho, but he had a bomb strapped to his chest that had the stopping power of like a thousand of which could... So, one. One, yeah. Psycho with chest bomb. Boom! You said something about a bomb, psycho? Oh, yeah. There. <laughs> Whoa, wait, dude! Oh, we were supposed to bring back the body. Oh, we are still bringing it, babe. It's just gonna take a little longer to collect now. Think I got some baggies in the truck. 